really did not expect October to be so nice. Maybe there is something nice to this global warming thing um, because it is October 21st and I've got beautiful sunshine here in, in Seattle. Um, what you're looking at right here is my I-258. Now, this guy is showing that it's got some give to it. I'm not 100% sure whether or not it's, you know, right, but um, I doubt that I'll be able to get um, better weather than this and even a little bit of warmth out of a, a day in October. So close to Halloween. So let's pick this guy. Okay. So we are in the greenhouse and I've already picked off a couple of these Dios Negras. And what I'm going to do with these, I'm going to actually do uh, kind of a photo shoot with them um, using my professional camera. But I've also got these guys in here. These are my Toro. If you follow my blog, you'll know that the Toro was the earliest ripening Breba in my collection. Um, and so I'm excited to see now that I've got some ripe main crop as well. Okay. Good looking Toro here. Picked five different kinds of figs here. Um, these I've already done, Dios Negra, G.E. Neri. I'm actually just going to take some professional photos of these guys, uh, as well as this white Madeira right here. These two are new for the season. This is the I-258. And the Toro, main crop. Let's go ahead and give these guys a weight test. Excuse me, I have a little bit of a cold. This is 35.7. And then the Toro, 66.5. Really nice. Okay, let's cut them open. You know, this Col de Dame is so delicious, so beautiful. It actually has inspired me to bust out some of the professional camera gear to take some professional photos of this fig. Uh, I've got my 100 millimeter macro lens on my Canon uh, 4D, my little, little photo booth. Um, let's give this guy a try. You know, now that I look at it, I'm thinking that maybe I did not give it enough time to ripen. I probably could have used another couple days because look at the thick syconium. You can tell this thing is not ripe. But uh, actually pretty sweet for a thing that's not ripe and good. It's syrupy. Still has a little bit of that latex feel to the skin because it's not fully ripe, but the, the flavor is pretty good. I'm a light honey berry, sweet, syrupy, pretty decently rich for a fig that wasn't ripe. That's a good look. Sorry, it's not a good looking model, but a good tasting model. We'll eat you later. Okay, so this is the I-258 inside of the uh, little photo booth in here. Um, and we just took some photos of this guy. It's a good looking fig. Not as big as Rom's. Rom grows his up in Kirkland and it was it looked huge, minor little. Uh, but they have kind of the same leaf shape, same color. Uh, and mine has for the most part been growing uh, outside. Uh, and let's give it a try. Mmm. Oh yeah, there's a great berry taste that are pretty typical with the, you know, I, call, I don't know, I, I, it's hard to kind of label like Preto, I-258, Black Madeira, Black Tuscan, they all kind of fit into the
but uh, I'm so happy to finally decide to do this. You know, actually take some proper photos of these these figs and then shine, shine them in a kind of very artistic light, right? Uh, one that you can reference later on in the future. Um, this is the last one. This is the GE Miri. Look how, how juicy this thing is. There's a little bit of mold going there, but that can be cut off. But uh, this should taste pretty good. It's the only one that actually didn't split. I'm going to bite this in. Man, that is good. That's juicy. Very syrupy. Melon flavored honey. But it, it's really delicious for an October thing. Worked pretty hard today, so I guess I deserve a little treat. Thanks for tuning in again, you guys. Check out some of those photos. I might do something with this for a future project. Part of the reason why I'm shooting them, um, I want to share them early with you. But thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate your time. See ya.